fed to the top of the box. Freddie Thompson feeds it to the far post. Pescadito Ruiz with a shot at point blank range. A brilliant save by Winslow McDowell, but it puts it right into the path of Minor Lopez. Minor Lopez making no mistake here. Bangs it home on the empty net, and that was enough to give Guatemala a 2-0 lead. And so that's where we stand after 45 minutes of play here at the playing fields. We'll be back with more. You're watching CONCACAF World Cup qualifying here on BN Sports. Where were you born? It's a question asked all the time. Because where you're from shapes who you are, inspires how you do things. And when that inspiration comes from a place this refreshing, this majestic, this, well, you get the idea. Coors Light, born in the Rockies. My name is Judy. I was nine when my parents decided to send me to New York. I couldn't understand why they sent me away. This all changed when my son was born. It made me realize how hard it was for them to let me go. They made the ultimate sacrifice to give me a better life over here. And now I send them money every month to give them a better life over there. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. This is much more than a historical rivalry. More than two cultures, trendsetters, or record breakers. It's El Clasico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona. And it's here on BN Sports. They are powerful. Some are heroes. And others are warriors. But only one can be champion. Aviva Premiership Rugby, Guinness Pro 12, on BN Sports. The Serie A is on BN Sports. In a match between two top-level historic clubs, Juventus has a mountain to climb if they are to defend their Scudetto title. Milan are looking to put even more pressure on their old enemies. Juventus versus Milan, Saturday on BN Sports. Still halftime here at the Arnold's Vail Ground, the playing field as they call it here in St. Vincent. Two to nothing, your score with Guatemala here on the road and in the lead as both these teams looking for their first points in Group C. We invite you to check us out online. BNSports.com is where you can find us on the World Wide Web. Look for us on Twitter as well, at ESBN Sports for our Spanish side, at BN Sports USA for our English side. We'll be right back. You're watching St. Vincent and the Grenadines against Guatemala on BN Sports. This halftime was brought to you by Volkswagen. Isn't it time for German engineering? Here's something to shout from the mountaintop. Cricket's plans start at $35 a month after $5 auto pay credit with more 4G LTE coverage nationwide than T-Mobile or Sprint. Cricket Wireless, something to smile about. Starting on Wednesday, Bean Sports brings you the most comprehensive coverage of the biggest sports rivalry in the world. El Clasico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Live from Spain, from the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Join our team of experts, headed by Ray Hudson, Phil Sheen, and special guest, Barcelona former Patrick Kluivert. With all the updated information about coaches, players, referees, and more, direct from the field. The most comprehensive coverage before, during, and after the game is here on BN Sports. Okay, we're here. Here's Dad, Mom, the twins, Aunt Alice. You didn't tell me Aunt Alice was coming. Of course. Don't forget Grandpa. Uh, can the test drive be over now? Maybe just head back to the dealership. Don't you want to meet my family? Yep. 
totally. It's practically yours, but we still need your signature. The sign then drive event. Zero do it signing, zero down, zero deposit, and zero first month's payment on a new Jetta and other select Volkswagen models. Back underway here for the start of the second half from the Arnold's Vale ground here in Kingstown in St. Vincent. Just one change to speak of at the, be uh, at the beginning of the second half here. Gavin James, number 13, brought off for St. Vincent and the Grenadines on in his place and Zeno Solomon. And so Solomon comes on. 21 years of age, making his 12th cap for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One goal on his international account. And what that does is it takes a forward away from Cornelius Huggins' side, and it puts an extra man in the midfield, which was uh, very, very crowded up by Guatemala. Guatemala coming out with their 3-5-1-1 formation. It looked, at least in the lineups we were giving at the beginning of the broadcast, as though Guatemala was going a little bit more traditional. But again, one play got underway. More of that same crowded midfield that we saw against Trinidad and Tobago. 3-5-1-1. Really puts six men in the midfield for Guatemala. And so St. Vincent and the Grenadines had two forwards at the outset of the contest. And since taking one off in favor of another midfielder here, a chance for Guatemala to try and get that third goal here at the start of the second 45 minutes. Does not come off. Two goals in the first half for Guatemala. Stefano Sincota getting the scoring started. 22 minutes into the contest with a beautiful free kick left-footed strike off the hands of Winslow McDowell and in to give Guatemala the one nothing lead. About 10 minutes later, Minor Lopez struck for Guatemala. A corner kick situation that was fed back to the top of the 18-yard box. Freddie Thompson feeding the ball in Pescadito Ruiz, ending up with a shot. McDowell making the save but right into the path of Minor Lopez. Lopez putting it home for the 2-0, and that's where we stand right now. Four shots in the first half on target for Guatemala. Two of them saved by McDowell. Of course, the free kick and the goal. Let's do non-saves. No shots or shots on target in the first half for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and just had no luck getting through that midfield. But Guatemala had crowded up, and now Guatemala has a third goal here. More bad defense. Costs the home side as Guatemala gets a header to make it 3-0 here on the road. This one coming off the head of Dennis Lopez, the defender, makes it 3-0 here for the away team. And at this point, putting this one beyond a shadow of a doubt for La Bicolor. Here it is again. From our angle, this was difficult to see in live time. Catches a slight deflection. McDowell comes out to make a play. But Lopez gets there first and gets the goal off the corner kick. And the play off the corner, but sent in by Brendan De Leon. Three nothing to Guatemala. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines has now given up nine unanswered goals since going ahead 1-0 in the fifth minute against the USA. There's your score right now. Of course, this result will keep St. Vincent and the Grenadines down at the bottom of the table in Group C. They'll be the only side in the group at this point without a point. And depending on 
how much Guatemala runs up the score here. They could find themselves in second place in the group if there's a winner between the USA and Trinidad and Tobago. In fact, they likely will. 3-0 at this point. They lost to Trinidad and Tobago 2-1, to one, so their goal difference right now is at plus 2. So if the USA beats Trinidad and Tobago, Guatemala will likely jump them in the group table standings. If TNT were to win against the United States as a foul is called here. Minor Lopez brought down in the box by the defender, Reginald Richardson. Richardson, one of the three players on the St. Vincent and the Grenadines roster to apply his trade in Europe. Chance for Contreras. Offside the call, though. This will bring play to a halt. So getting back to the point, if TNT were to beat the United States, it would likely leave Guatemala in third place unless Trinidad and Tobago really puts it on the United States. Remember, USA with a plus five goal difference after beating St. Vincent and the Grenadines six to one in their first contest. of the group. Over the top, loose ball. That's touched by a Guatemalan defender. Into the waiting hands of Paulo Mota. Both these sides, by the way, do play home and away against the same team in the next round of qualification, or I should say the next match day of round four. March 25th, 2016. St. Vincent and the Grenadines will host Trinidad and Tobago before going to play them on the road on the 29th, just a few days later. So, Trinidad and Tobago will come to these very playing fields. And they'll host Trinidad and Tobago here at the Arnos Vale Ground in Kingston on the 25th before going to Hazley Crawford Stadium in the Port of Spain. In Trinidad and Tobago down on the 29th. For Guatemala, they'll get a home and away against the USA in March. March 25th, we'll see Guatemala host the United States at the Estadio Nacional Mateo Flores in Guatemala City. And on the 29th, four days later, the USA will host Guatemala of course, that venue yet to be determined. Out of play here. As Coach Huggins gives some instructions to his players on the pitch. Contreras sends that across the field. Sincota trying to get back to the ball, but it's called for the foul against Sir Alex Anderson. Anderson has gotten free a couple of times, but aside from that, it's been very quiet here today. Very hot, very humid conditions here in the Southern Caribbean. 88 degrees at kickoff time. This ball taken away by St. Vincent. Trying to clear it up the pitch. A lot of the Guatemalan players pushing up as it looks. And Los Sarpines are going to try and run up the score here and get their goal difference in order. And in truth, that's probably what 
all of these teams playing St. Vincent and the Grenadines should do if they get a good lead is try and tack on as many as possible. You never know when those extra goals and difference are going to come in handy. Turned over, Lopez, he's fouled as the captain, Dorn Hamlet, commits the infraction. 55 minutes gone here. Here's a look at the foul again. Long ball for Lopez, trying to get back to it now. He's got one defender on him, Richardson. Hand to the face of Lopez, that's gonna get called. That's gonna set up a free kick for Guatemala. And that's the second time in about five minutes that Richardson has fouled Lopez in the face. Very understanding official, Drew Fisher. Again, head, head of this all Canadian officiating crew. See, Guatemala, they want a reaction. This is the second time, as we mentioned, in a short amount of time that Reginald Richardson has fouled Minor Lopez. Headed away. Settled by Thompson. Guatemala still have it. Feed it back into the six yard box. And Louise makes a run for it, but can't get back to the ball. McDowell able to secure possession for St. Vincent. Well, again, this is the last day of this particular international break. And when we return to action over the weekend, we'll be back to club football in the European leagues. And this, by the way, weekend of the biggest rivalry in all of Spanish soccer in La Liga, a resurgent Ronaldo and a mended Messi could make for a Clasico next weekend to remember. La Grana meet the Merengues in the latest battle of the Bernabeu. Took the views of Dutch legend Patrick Clivert, and Spanish league winner Luis Garcia, live and direct here on Beard Sports. That coming your way Saturday, November 21st. A change here for St. Vincent and the Grenadines as Vazbert Ledger comes on. Vazbert Ledger comes on to provide some offense for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Another youngster, just 20 years of age, making just his fourth cap for the national team. Ledger born in February of 1995. Not sure if you can call that a shot. It was blocked off the boot of Anzino Solomon, who came in at the half time break. Throw it here on the near side for Guatemala. So as of right now, St. Vincent and the Grenadines have Let's say three and a half forwards out there. Ledger is out there with Solomon and Slater. 
This one's headed away. Don't forget oh, Alex Anderson is out there as well, and while he may be a winger, very capable of getting forward. Lopez has it inside the 18-yard box. He has it put away. A shot and a save there by Winslow McDowell in net for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Still, though, Guatemala hovering around the box. It's Mejia. Plays this one out to De Leon and the shot for the far post is well wide. Here's another look. It's Nicoto on the shot that forces the save. Past the hour mark here at the Arnos Vale ground. 3 nothing. your score. Two first half goals and a second half header. The difference in this one to this point in the match. Thompson tries to feed that one to the top of the 18 yard box. Looking for Minor Lopez who scored the second of Guatemala's three goals back in minute 32. Throw-in coming here for the home side. Safe play there in defense by Hamilton Lopez. Tevin Slater. Let's drop back now. Goto trying to defend for Guatemala. Tempted cross is put out of play. And will George trying to square the ball for a teammate, but the defense there for Guatemala. This will set up a corner kick. Oh, Alex Anderson. We'll feed this one in. A couple of targets in the box to watch out for. Solomon's in there. Hamlet's in there. Richardson in the box as well as is Tevin Slater. And again, it'll be Alex Anderson. To feed this one in. Fed to the top of the 18-yard box. Looking for McDowell. Loss of footing there by Lopez. Gets back to his feet, though. It's the ball away from Slater. And a long ball over the top, trying to find Mejia. So, a final change being made by Cornelius Huggins as Tevin Slater is brought on, or rather brought off. Shundell Samuel, 32 years of age, comes on, the leading goal scorer for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 32 goals for the national team for Shundell Samuel. This is 60th cap. It is for Rendezvous FC in Barbados. He is the most experienced striker national team-wise on this squad. Taken away. St. Vincent and the Grenadines trying to clear the danger here. Finding it difficult. Samuel on it. Samuel gets it back. Tripped up inside the 18 yard box. No call. As you can hear the fans voicing their displeasure. Gota makes some trouble. 
with the defense of St. Vincent and the Renegades. Emerald George sends this one in. Almost the goal at the back post there by Anderson. And this will stay with the Vincey Heat. Crossed in. Cleared away by Guatemala. St. Vincent. Keep the play alive for a moment before this one is wasted up and over the Guatemala net. Here's another look at the header that just missed off the head of Anderson. This one had the look of a goal, but couldn't get it on target. Loose ball, finally collected by Dennis Lopez. Lopez who scored the third goal of the match for Guatemala. Contreras turns it around. He gets to head forward, trying to feed Ruiz there. Ruiz called for offside. Not the first time in this match. Of course, Ruiz famously likes to play that line. A change being made here for Guatemala. They'll bring on Jerson Tinoco, who started the last match against Trinidad and Tobago. And that will be the end of the day for Carlos Ruiz, who has had a full weekend's work. And so the match now securely in hand. The big goal scorer comes off, and on comes a little bit more pace. As Tinoco will come on. Jerson Tinoco. 29 years of age. Plays for Coban Imperial in Guatemala. Making his sixth cap for the national side. Seventh, I think, actually. Where he did start against Trinidad and Tobago. Jose Contreras now wearing the captain's armband in the center of the park for Guatemala. We like a clear foul here. Moise Hernandez just a little bit too aggressive on the play. Volta in net, directing traffic. Emerald George set up to take the free kick. Scoops this one to the far side of the box. It falls, a chance coming. We can't get back to the ball. The shot from the top of the 18-yard box is well defended by Guatemala. Still, though, St. Vincent in possession until right now. Minor Lopez springs Tinoco. Player down for St. Vincent in defense. Mejia. Out wide. Contreras has a chance to scoop this one in front. It gets away though. De Leon. 
for Mejia. Mejia for Contreras. Contreras squares it. Can they get the shot off? They do. And Sigolta misses just wide. A chance for his second goal of the day. Gota who opened the match with a brilliant free kick strike. Unable to put this one home. Here it is again, just defenders all over the place inside that box. For St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Ball put back into play. This is the most populated city in all of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Counting for about 40% total of the entire island's population, or the entire island nation's population, I should say. Guatemala coming forward. Chance to capitalize here on some sloppy defensive play from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but unable to do so. Ball out of play as Minor Lopez gets back to his feet. Of course, with this game pretty well in hand, likely to start seeing some of the younger players for Guatemala hit the pitch. Might get a look at Jorge, or rather Jose Pinto, the Antigua youngster, 22 years of age. Get to see a cap for his national side. Just like a foul on the near sideline. No call, though. Back to De Leon. De Leon pushed from behind. No call. Oh, well, no, it's Lopez that's pushed from behind that time. Back into the midfield. Hamlet. Now on the ball, Ledger. George. Back to Samuel. And now cleared away. Coach is looking gone. Both these sides considered massive underdogs in the grand picture, the grand scheme of things in CONCACAF at this stage. Of course, there was a time, though, when Guatemala was to be counted among the top five in CONCACAF. Those days, days seem to have passed, although still very much alive in the qualification process. And again, with this victory and some luck, Guatemala could find themselves as high as second place in Group C when the day is out. Contreras over the top, looking for Tinoco, but unable to bring it down, Tinoco. Corner kick situation coming here for Guatemala. These have been trouble for St. Vincent. You see the wind whipping around now. So the crowd wants Contreras to try for the, the goal from the corner. First we'll make a change though. It looks like there may be two change. No, just the one change. For Guatemala. Getting set to come on. Marco Papa. Check 
It looks like this will be the end of the day for Minor Lopez, who did score at the end of the first half. He will make way for one of the more recognizable names on this squad, Marco Papa of the Seattle Sounders, making his way out onto the pitch, 53rd cap for the national side. And among the more decorated stars on this Guatemala team, ball fed into the six yard box and Wislow McDowell had to make a play on this one. Looking around at his defenders like somebody had to do it. 15 minutes left to go here. Guatemala appear to have this one well in hand. And looks as if they'll come out of here with three points after two match days here in round four. In group C, St. Vincent and the Grenadines now looking at an 0-2 start. A 6-1 loss to the United States and three goals given up and counting here to Guatemala. That shot well defended at the edge of the 18-yard box. A chance to turn it around, though, for Shendel Samuel. Can't get going. Brought down by Marco Papa. St. Vincent and the Grenadines have had a lot of trouble breaking down this midfield for Guatemala. Just the sheer number of players has proven to be so difficult for them to get around that I'm not sure if they've officially gotten a shot off here in the first 76 minutes. We have seen some attempted shots inside the 18-yard box, but those, at least to my recollection, have been blocked. See, Iran Sopeño telling his side, stay back. No reason to concede a goal at this point in the match. There you can see only two players across that midfield line for Guatemala. Papa, definitely a member of the midfield. As of right now, it would look like Guatemala with that a 3-6-1 look, really making things difficult for St. Vincent and the Grenadines around that center circle. A chance to make something happen for Anderson, and his first touch lets him down, and now he comes up a little gimpy as well inside the box for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Meanwhile, Marco Papa starting the play for Guatemala. Contreras takes an elbow to the nose. Well, he certainly is a top... Uh, a tolerance fellow, Mr. Drew Fisher, the head official here. No cards given out on the day. There have been a few offenses that could have drawn a booking in the eyes of some officials. This is out of play. The fatigue, it would appear, beginning to show a little bit more on the faces of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines players, which is a little bit of a, a surprise, although not entirely. Guatemala does get similar conditions. Out to the right, Singota. Back inside. Shot from distance, well high. And out of play. Here's another look at that last chance that St. Vincent and the Grenadines had to score. Well, Alex Anderson had it. The initial chest bump, though, just a bit too much to get back to. And another chance wasted by St. Vincent and the Grenadines.
out of play. It will stay with the Vinci Heat, though. Contreras, the acting team captain out on the pitch, keeps the play moving. De Leon has done a really good job in ball possession today. Drops it back. Hard to tell, hard to get a read on this Guatemalan side and how well they've played here today. Up against a side that's just not up to par. This one shot seemingly through the goalkeeper and it finds its way to the back of the net. And the substitute, Gerson Tinoco. He gets on the board for Guatemala now, 4 0 the score. And again, Guatemala working that goal differential column. Now three points appear to be in the bag. And by the way, Tinoco's second goal with the national team. So 4 nothing now, and a change being made by Guatemala as they bring on their third and final substitution. It will be Jonathan Marquez Orellana to come on. Contreras will come off. G. Marquez goes in. Marquez, 30 years of age. One of five Comunicaciones players from the local Guatemalan League. There's the goal from Tinoco. Call it the final nail in the coffin if you wish. Although, in this case, the final nail in the coffin or oh, rather the only important nail in the coffin, the first goal scored by Stefano Sincota, the free kick to open the scoring back in minute 22. Since then, Minor Lopez and Dennis Lopez have each gotten a goal. Minor scoring in the first half, Dennis scoring in the second half. Tinoco just closing that out, two goals per half here for the visitors. They'll come away with this with a one win, one loss record through the first two match days here in round four. And as it currently stands, they have a plus three goal difference. And again, a lot will depend on what happens between Trinidad and Tobago and the United States. That match being played, by the way, at Hazley Crawford Stadium in the Port of Spain. And if the United States comes out on top over Trinidad, Guatemala will likely go into second place in the group by virtual goal difference. Trinidad finds a way to get past the United States. USA will more than likely inhabit that second place spot in the group unless TNT decides to really pour it on the United States. Fed right into the heart of the 18-yard box. This time, headed away by the St. Vincent defense. Papa turning around. Sounders midfielder loses it. Papa, whose team, the Sounders, went out of the MLS playoffs in dramatic fashion. Just a short time ago. Thrilling second leg against FC Dallas that came down right to the end. Lead changed hands. 
three times in the final 15 minutes of that one. Or rather, I should say three times in the final 10 minutes. In the end, Seattle Sounders were sent home. See, Dallas would move on. It's out of play. Five minutes left to go here at the Arnos Vail Ground. Playing fields. Solomon. Dealing with two Guatemalan defenders. He will inbound. Anderson leaves it. Richards out of play. Back over to Guatemala. And for St. Vincent, they will find themselves down at the bottom of this group by a considerable margin, about as big a margin as you can get, really, through two games. No points. Having conceded 10 goals in their opening two matches to this point. They do have the one score against the United States, but not exactly what you would call a solid defensive effort in either of these two matches. As Hamilton Lopez boots that one to the pitch. And a foul called against St. Vincent. Freddie Thompson back to his feet. Here, on the ball now, Papa feeds it to Mejia. Back into the center circle for De Leon, and now back across the formation. George, clip from behind. That'll set up a free kick for the home side. Ball will find its way out of play. And this will be a goal kick. Two minutes remaining here at the playing fields. Guatemala largely unchallenged in this contest. As Mota puts this one back into play. So we went over it a bit earlier. We'll revisit it again now. These two sides will now be off until the new year. We'll restart the qualification process in late March. That'll be the next international break for these two sides. Both will play home and aways in the next couple of match days here in round four. And for Guatemala, they will be at home against the United States at the Mateo Flores, the Estadio Nacional in Guatemala City. That'll be on March 25th on the 29th. We will travel to the USA for the second of those two matches. That venue yet to be determined, although keep an eye on beinsports.com for any announcements to the location of those matches. Right now, a chance for St. Vincent and the Grenadines here in the late going, but that one out of play. And for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, their next two matches will be home and away against Trinidad and Tobago. They'll return here to the Arnos Vale ground in Kingstown. That'll be March 25th of 2016, four days later, it will be at Hazley Crawford Stadium in Port of Spain for the second of those two matches. St. Vincent and the Grenadines will go in to those 
into that first round, I should say, the first match day as the last place team in Group C, Guatemala. Depending on other results, we'll go in as the second or third place side in Group C as we reach the end of regulation time here at the playing fields. Two minutes to be added for stoppages here. As you can see, the fourth official making the signal. Two goals in each half for La Azul y Blanco. On Franco Sopeño's side. Still much work to, for them to do here going forward. And they scored almost every way imaginable today. Got a free kick goal. The second goal was started off of a corner kick. The ball fed out to be on the 18-yard box. Freddie Thompson feeding across into the box that Guatemala was able to get two shots off on. And of course, Minor Lopez ends up putting it home. The third, another corner kick played short, crossed in. That one finding its way to the back of the net off the head of Dennis Lopez, the defender. And then uh, Jerson Dinoco from the run of play puts one home for the fourth and final goal of the contest for Guatemala. And uh, they'll play keep away here for the last 15 seconds or so. Marco Papa. And the less veteran drops it back. Scooped into the final third. And that should be enough for Drew Fisher to go ahead and blow this one to its conclusion. That will do it. And so the whistle goes 4-0 the final score. Guatemala getting the victory on the road. They get a much needed three points. St. Vincent and the Grenadines drops to 0-2 here in Group C. They now have a negative nine goal difference. They've given up 10 goals through two games and they've lost both their opening matches here in Group C for Guatemala. They go to three points with a plus three goal difference by virtue of a 4 nothing win. Team Colta, Minor Lopez, Dennis Lopez, and Jerson Tinoco getting the goals. And that will do it. Your final score for the final time here from Arnold's Vale Ground in Kingstown. Guatemala 4, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, nothing. Thank you for watching. CONCACAF World Cup qualifying on BN Sports. This game was brought to you in part by Coors Light. Cricket. And Ford. Alucinante. By design. Seduciendo. By design. Now get data access plus unlimited talk and text to and from Mexico and the U.S. and Canada and the U.S. Included on plan starting at $45 a month after $5 auto pay credit. Cricket Wireless. Something to smile about. As a manager who came from the modest end of the game, I've always looked down. Sergio Ramos, Jesus Navas, Ike Muniain, Adrian Lopez, Oscar De Marcos. One after another, it's an interminable list of players, big names in the game, who've been given their first division debuts by Joaquin Caparros. Despite getting his first professional experience at Recreativo de Huelva, the coach from Utrera is best known for the job he did at Sevilla. 
We looked for players who would get involved, people who realized that Sevilla were in a delicate situation. We formed a tight-knit group. Each season we took a step forward. That first year we were fortunate enough to get promoted. We kept growing and we could do that because Sevilla is a club based around the academy. Caparros has always had a good eye for a player and even more importantly has never shied away from giving a youngster his first break. He laid the foundations for the successful Sevilla side of recent years, basing his team around youngsters such as Dani Alves, Julio Baptista, Jesus Navas, Reyes and Ramos. When I see Sergio now, the captain, he's an authentic number one at a club like Madrid. Being captain there requires more than just talent. You need personality and that captaincy gene. His next move took him to A Coruña with Deportivo in a complicated economic situation. It isn't easy for the fans going from being super depor and competing in the Champions League and fighting for the title against Madrid to the current situation. And it's me and Augusto who have led this change and it's not easy.